All right, guys, on this episode, I'm going to be comparing the differences between Conqueror Challenge and the Pacer Challenges. Um, basically, they're pretty much the same, except uh, Conqueror, I kind of like their system a bit more, their app, because it has street view, they plant trees every 20% you complete of a challenge, and it does a good job of showing your progress and how much time you have and stuff. And I like that it's versatile with different exercises, like you can do swimming, you can do your bike, you can do uh, rowing, like a rowing machine and stuff. So yeah, I just kind of like their system, but I have to say, you know, it's kind of pick and choose. Like here's their Camino de Santiago, like it's 29 miles shorter than the, uh, where is it, there it is. Yeah, it's like 29 miles shorter than the uh, Pacer one. And I kind of dislike the metal more on the Pacer challenge. I mean, you know, you got the church and stuff. I think the ribbon is cool on this one. And uh, I kind of like the, uh, I don't know what to call this, kind of the script and the, uh, I guess the paper and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, the kind of the banner here and stuff. You know, I like that, but yeah, on the back, yeah, yeah. And on the back of this one, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of went with this one. And I like that this one has different uh, longer distance and stuff. But I mean, you know, you can't really go wrong either way. And you would have gotten postcards with this one and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's really, the, I can't really choose one over the other when it comes to these two, the Conqueror and the Pacer. I mean, they both have their strengths, and they both are better in some areas than others. I mean, it's really, you can just pick and choose. Like, let's see, the, uh, well, and two, Pacer has medals that Conquerors doesn't. Like, they have the Rio one, they have the Rome, they have the Athens, and uh, Taj Mahal, you know, it has all these medals and challenges that you can go for in London and stuff. While Conqueror seems to be more of famous like challenges, like the Appalachian Trail, Route 66, Length of Britain, uh, and, uh, you know, St. Francis's Way. They seem to be more into like the famous kind of challenges, while Pacer seems to be more about the places. But then, you know, you'll see like their Grand Canyon on Pacer. You know, the metal's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. But it's only 22 miles. Yeah, it's only 22 miles. While the Grand Canyon for challenge, uh, Conqueror's Challenge, it's kind of weird they both have an eagle in it, but uh, <laughs> um, it's, you know, what was it? It's, 280 miles and the cool thing is it goes along the Colorado River so this would be perfect for somebody with a rowing machine you know and uh, I like how it's like 260 miles longer so I would probably go with this one over the pacer challenge but I mean you know you can't really say one sucks and the other one's better I mean they're both good in their own areas and uh, one thing that I've noticed is there's a lot of copycats out there. Like um, the other day on Instagram, I keep getting ads because I keep doing these challenges. I keep getting ads for uh, copycats. And they're just so blatantly fake and weird. Like I saw, I show you now, I saw one the other day of uh, a Romeo and Juliet challenge. And you get like a Romeo and Juliet medal for like a Shakespeare challenge. Run, like 5k run or something i'm like what <laughs> i mean they're just weird like just weird challenges and uh, i do remember one of those copycat ones i wanted to do it was for um the chinese new year it was uh for the year of the bull and it looked really cool but i was kind of suspicious i was like i don't know because it really does seem like the conqueror challenges and the pacer challenges seem to be the only ones that are legit and I went on the, uh, I don't remember the name of the challenge for that Chinese New Year, but I went on like their, uh, 
Facebook page and a lot of the people were commenting on it like, hey, I sent you my $15 and I signed up, but you haven't sent me anything. So I kind of wonder if that was just a fraud and people got you know taken advantage of or something. So yeah, I would definitely stick with Conqueror and Pacer for your challenges. And, you know, they, they keep adding medals. So, you know, if you don't really see anything you really want to do, just come back in a couple of months. Like, um, I think Kilimanjaro and Kruger Park, they're pretty new. I think they just came out like a month or two ago. And Pacer's adding stuff all the time. Like their London challenge is brand spanking new. I think the Athens one was like three weeks ago. So, yeah, they just keep adding new ones. I think uh, when I did the Camino de Santiago, I think that was new too. So, yeah, definitely, you know, just keep an eye on these. And, uh, you know, like I said, I like the app better for Conquerors. But I think Pacer makes nicer medals and uh, the uh, designs are better, I think. But then I think the, um, I don't know what to call these, the... Uh, the straps or whatever that go around your neck. I think Conqueror does better straps, <laughs> if that means anything to you. But um, yeah, I mean, I love both of these companies and they're both great. And uh, they've been a really, really fun part of my year so far. I mean, uh, how many of these have I done? Um, did the Ring of Kerry. I'm almost done with Kruger Park. I did St. Francis. So I guess I, when I'm done with Kruger Park, that'll be three challenges I've done. And uh, I'm eventually going to do the English Channel and Hadrian's Wall. And I'll probably do the Giza Pyramids and uh, a couple other ones here. And Pacer, I'm definitely, I just bought this one today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until I'm done with the Camino de Santiago to do it. But yeah, I got that. Uh, I did this one, did this one. I'm going to do this one this year. Um... I definitely want to do this one this year and I'm going through this one about 400 more miles to do on that one so yeah I mean they're just great I mean I love these so yeah if you want to get in shape definitely pick and choose between yeah whichever one you like Conqueror and uh, Pacer I mean can't go wrong with either one they're great companies and they're great apps and these are just fun to do so knock yourself out people get in shape Make 2021 the year you turned your health around.